This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use headcrab prefabs. This is just a basic template starting map. I'm going to look in the prefabs tab here and I'm going to find a headcrab prefab. A nice easy one to start with is the headcrab classic vent spawn. I'm just going to drop this into the map now. When you put this in one of your maps, you have to make sure that you know you have a ceiling and this square right here is where you're going to set your vent. Now just for demo purposes, I'm not going to put a ceiling in here yet, but there it is. So there's the prefab. It's got everything you need to get the head crab to drop out of a ceiling. Now these prefabs typically have some sort of trigger that you can access from the larger map. So this map should have a way to trigger this prefab to run without having to go into the individual parts, which is a really nice thing that Valve provides. If I go to Object Properties, so let's right click Object Properties, I can check out the name here. We're gonna call this Head Crab Vent PR, so a Head Crab Vent Prefab. Now I can set up a very simple trigger entity, which is gonna set off that prefab to run. So there's my trigger entity, right click, whoops. So show properties, we're gonna make this into a trigger multiple, and it's gonna trigger, well I don't, it doesn't have to have a name, but in its outputs, I'm gonna add on trigger, so as soon as the player walks into that trigger, or basically anything walks into that trigger space and it's triggered, we're gonna trigger on the headcrab vent PR. And now that the entity's here, it's gonna auto-populate this input. You can see there's only one input here, which is spawn vent headcrab. Depending on the prefab, you might have a variety of inputs and outputs that the prefab can take and trigger. So in this case, if I click on spawn vent headcrab, and I'm gonna keep the delay at zero, all I gotta do is compile this map. I'm just gonna show it in 2D real quick. Now you can't see the trigger space, but it's right in front of me. The head crab's not there yet, but as soon as I hit that trigger, it starts off the prefab. So the head crab drops to the ground, and now he's gonna act like a regular head crab. Now we can also quickly try a another prefab here. So this is the oil drum prefab. And see it has a scripted sequence and a whole bunch of logic relays, but hopefully we don't have to worry about that. Let's actually just give this guy a name. So show object properties, we'll name this oil drum. Now from my trigger sequence here, I'll have an output. Again, I'm going to go Add new one on trigger. We're going to grab our oil drum and via input, there you go, activate spawn prefab. So that's the only input it takes. Let's see what that input does. Both these prefabs are gonna run now once I pass that trigger. This guy's gonna drop and something's gonna happen here but I'm not actually sure what it is. So let's give it a try. So I've got an oil drum and there, he jumps on the oil drum, knocks it over, and now behaves again like a, a regular head crab. So that's the basics of the prefabs that you can use. And you can find them all again under this tab. You can look for head crab, you can look for combine soldier. Just kind of search through the prefabs that are available. And the key thing to remember is you don't want to send any inputs or triggers into the actual prefab, the prefab will provide you a way to interact with it. So you're gonna have some inputs once you put that into a trigger. So once you add an entity which is a prefab here, this is where you can get different inputs. So those are some simple ones. I'll go into more complex ones on the next video.